five Australian greyhounds who were sent to China's notorious racing dog death camp have finally been returned safely home. The canines are being rehomed here in Perth, but there are fears that WA dogs are still being sent to similar facilities. In Australia, it's a dog's life. Oh, <laughs> a run in the park. But for these five greyhounds, grass is a very new thing. <laughs> This was their life. Prisoners at the now abandoned Macau Canadrome racetrack, a horrific facility shut down by the Chinese government three years ago after pressure from a global animal rights movement. More than 20,000 greyhounds died there. They lived only to race, and if they didn't perform, most were sold to the Chinese dog meat trade. Oh, sick. And I spoke about it in Parliament the other day and I could barely get the words out, quite frankly. Andrea Pollard of Greyhound Adoptions WA knows the horror first hand. I think the worst thing was probably the smell. It's where she met Hope. The first time I saw her she was in a, a dark wet um, kennel with you know no sunlight and I walked up to the door and she just ran up to me. I started petting her and I could see um, you know just how beautiful she was even in those conditions. She's still covered in scars and recovering from injuries but Hope is settling in remarkably well to her new suburban life with her two big sisters. She's only been here a week and she's doing a Amazingly. Other dogs aren't so lucky. The RSPCA estimates more than 600 Australian greyhounds a year are still being sold to race in China and Vietnam, including dogs from WA, even though their export is illegal in our state. They've been making their way across the Nullarbor somehow or other into different hands and then we lose control of them. The member for Maylands wants a nationwide export ban. In the meantime, those who'd like to help can donate or adopt. If you're thinking of adopting a greyhound, there are a couple of common misconceptions. First of all, they're actually quite docile. They do like to sleep up to 20 hours a day. And, hello, if you see them in the park with a muzzle on, it's because they're required to wear one by law. It makes my heart sing to, you know, think of hope in that kennel on that concrete floor and now to look at her on my couch, happy when she's, you know, upside down, roaching, rolling around on grass. It's just amazing. And I wish I could do that for every single greyhound. Jerry DeMassey, Nine News.